Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Awakening. In the previous episode, we continued making our way through the woods, trying to find out what happened here and why that elf woman seems to be attacking all of these caravan traders. Seems it's got something to do with her sister, but it also seems as though the Darkspawn, Darkspawn may have very crudely tricked her into believing the humans did it by leaving a pile of weapons around. Ugh. Anyways, let's make our way up to the Dalish camp. Let's see if we can't convince her that she's an idiot. I'm not going to kill you. Then will you let me go? For the sake of our people and what we share? Not yet. I wish to talk. <laughs> talk. The Darkspawn were playing the humans against the elves? No, the humans are not to blame for what happened here. You expect me to believe that? What of the weapons? Or my sister's disappearance? The weapons were planted by Darkspawn. I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn planted them? That would mean the Darkspawn killed my people and took my sister. I'm surprised. I want to say this, but let's not, for the sake of just getting this over with. Yes. Why would the Darkspawn do this? Well, they make females into brood mothers. Are you saying Sarani will become one of them? I will not allow that. Well, then let me help. You? You want to find Sarani? Why? Eh, no one deserves to suffer at the hands of the Darkspawn. Great, another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. My name is Valana. If you care for such things. Do you know where the Dark Spawn might dwell? Tunnels, most likely. There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the Dark Spawn there. And we have no choice but to bring her along. And because I would rather have a balanced party. Yes. Uh... Sorry, Anders. Ooh, Nathaniel got a level up. Still not sure on which specialization specializations to give him, but eh. Let's see. Let's get him some expert clarity. And we did say we wanted to get first shot. Just give him more archers. Yeah, Augurin disapproves. Oh well. Got some more enemies coming up. An ogre and there's something else. Ah, bunch of other things. And I'm off. Oh, oh, I forgot to work on her. Oh well. Jeez. Don't even have to be backstabbing fools to take them all out. Get up, Ogryn. I need somebody more tanky. Oh, uh, let's see. Keeper. Mm-hmm. Right. So, Battle Mage. Let's see. Can I get any healing on her? Because it's always good to have a healer. Should be primal mage keeper. 
With nature, field then mobilizes the keeper. Long spells active, but inflicts nature damage and penalty to movement. Thorn blades. Okay. And can't get that one yet. Uh, let's get some lightning, some magic. Or some winter's grasp, I should say. Guess frost weapons. Oh, and let's give Ogryn a injury kit. At least the Silverite mines are open up to us now. Might be able to find some good veins down there. At this, we'll probably want to return to the keep. See if there's any new developments. Letter from one miner to another. Thaddeus, it's too dangerous to work here. I'm sure the money's good, but there's been nothing but trouble since we broke into the ruin. Foreman down the shaft. The scaffold on poor Horace. He's, he'd heard voices calling his name. And the incident with the stew. An eyeball. Something's not right, Thaddeus. Oh, and that carbuncle on my neck is back. I swear it's a Winter curse. Half the men have left. I'm leaving today with the next lot. We can find work elsewhere. This isn't the only mine for Alden. Carl. Smart move, Carl. Assuming you made it. Well, shit. So you are the commander of the Grey Wardens. Do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. Rest. Interesting. They haven't done anything. I'm fine, Velana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. All right. Let me out and I'll take you home. The Darkspawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. Please tell me what's going on. You must know something. I don't know anything. But take this key. It... it opens a chest in the Emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. Wait, how did you get this? I... I, I found it. They're coming! You have to go! Find a way out of the mines! Please! I can't just leave you! Sarani! Wait! Alright, well, at least they were stupid enough to leave us in here. And, of course, they heard me. Oh, play. At least they're not too tall. I would really like my armor and weapons back. Hmm. Holding Selkie. A little late for that, but whatever. 
Yeah, nothing I can really use. Now, what about this? Ow, okay, not doing that again. Going. Well, might as well at least equip... Oh, I somehow still have the Helm of Hornleith. I don't know how. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's see, Fractured Stone. Lyrium dust. Okay, that leads down into a bunch of enemies. I don't think we're going to be able to handle that. At least I'm not sure if we can handle that. Let's see, is this it? No. Journal page. And I'm off. The Architect's Journal. The seeker collected two elves, male and female. The rest died defending their camp. Unfortunate, but a small price to pay. The male has since dashed his head on the wall. Odd. Don't all living beings strive for survival? The seeker confessed that he did more than simply collect the elves. He found the elves and humans at odds, then exacerbated the conflict by making the humans look responsible for the two elves' disappearances. He said he wanted to see how the elf leader would react. Odd again. The female elf has developed a bond of sorts with her guard. Many of the other disciples seem drawn to her as well. The seeker says her name is Sarani. Perhaps I should speak to her. Maybe she will understand. Going. Okay, experiment notes. What happens if the old gods perish? Does the song die with them? The blood is the key, the blood is always the key. The female elf is accommodating, allowing me to take her blood for my work. Perhaps she thinks I'll release her if she cooperates. My disciples report that another elf is rampaging through the woods, killing humans. Revenge for what we did to her kind, only she hasn't seen through the Seeker's ruse. We'll keep this from Sarani. If she is upset, she may stop cooperating. Perhaps I should have killed it while it slept. Right. Hmm. Take that. Now, what have we got here? Hmm. Okay, that rotates it one way. Going. That rotates only one of them, though. Or it swaps it back and forth. All right. Hmm. I'm absolutely missing something, but I don't know what. All right. Seems like we got no choice but to go through that one door. And I'm off. means more fist fighting or maybe not that spot seems blocked off this contraption will allow us to quickly dispatch those dark spawn come on we've no time to lose well I got most of them That wasn't too difficult. Meh. Again, this... Well, not again, but this could have been something that... 
would allow for a good stealth segment, but I guess the, uh... The... Game engine probably doesn't make for very good... Or for being able to pull that off. Okay, some two-headed being. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, a bunch of stuff I can sell, but nothing I can really use. Hey, that's mine! Thing has my things. It's got its sallow, clammy hands all over my doodads, touching my junk. No one touches Ogren's junk and lives. Ugh, we're gonna find one of these things wearing my stuff. <laughs> Wow, we just fist fought a, fought a bunch of dragonlings. Well, still fist fighting a bunch of dragonlings. And yeah, not full blown dragons, but come on. Okay, let's at least get Augrin re equipped. For some reason, they didn't take his helmet, and I don't know why. I thought that was just me, but no. Room for ditch? Eh. Alright, at the very least, ogren has got his stuff. That's at least one more person that can do damage. Yes. Now, oh, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, hey, Keenan. You're the Warden Commander. I would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? You know me? I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead, or worse. What are the Darkspawn doing? I'm not sure. The emissary who leads them is more cunning than any Darkspawn I've encountered. He's fascinated with Wardens. But listen, there is a Darkspawn here carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died trying to make this world better. I'd rather bring you to your wife. No. I will only slow you down. Please, do this for me. It is all I ask. And then he just drops dead. Alright, fine. Yes, we can at least do that for you. Is this silverite? It's gotta be. You know, kinda sad that these guys can't take down a bunch of unarmed, admittedly, yes, trained individuals. Well, at least in the case of me, Nathaniel, and Ogren can't speak for Valana.
Okay, admittedly, things are starting to go bad. Really bad. Okay, time to book it. Maybe if I run, enough of them will lose interest. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like it. Ugh, how far back is this gonna put me? Ugh, I'll be back. Okay, on the way back, I decided to look into the experimental controls, and it's actually for that magic ward. So what we're gonna do is and left, right, yes. left, right. Because apparently there's a pretty good bow down there. Kind of in need of them. Also, I'm not making the same mistake of being too prideful to use just these random weaponries. Or random weapons and armor scattered about. Oh, good lord. What happened down here? Anyways, Dragon Spite and Black Blade Tunic. Not bad. Problem is, the Black Blade Tunic requires 24 strength. Despite being light armor. Hmm. Alright, well, that bow's going on Nathaniel right away. And he actually can equip the Black Blade Tunic. Alright. Anything else down here? No. Okay, in that case, I'll see you guys back where we were before we died. Okay then, fight went vastly better this time. Just goes to show what not being prideful will get ya. Alright, let's get her equipped. How much you want to bet my stuff's gonna be the last that we get? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Soldier corpse, huh? Ooh, a spyglass. And a dragon bone mace. Meh. I mean, I suppose I could always sell it for extra cash. Not that I really need it. But we'll see. Uh, now, are we going to have to search every corpse to find... Oh, right. I mean, he said it was one with a yes. huge maul. I don't think we've encountered one of those yet. Ooh, an auto save. Take a spawn, hey? We have to get it back. Yes, and we will. Tisk, tisk. But we also have to be alive to do that. Oh wait, that's my stuff. Get your grubby ghoul skin off of it. stuff. Ah, so good to be back in my own gear. Strange, when did we grab the Black Blade Helm? Let's see, how bow? Uh, higher damage with the how bow. When did we get this? I can't remember. Maybe it was when I gave it to him. Let's see, plus 10 attack, 4 damage, plus 3 damage. 
I think this one's a little better. But I'm going to hold on to this one because we got dragonlings in here and, well... This is better. Bears Embrace. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say the Black Blade Tunic for now is better. What does the Bears Embrace even look like? Meh. Looks better, too. And a Silverite Deposit. See, this probably leads to the exit, so let's head this way instead. Ooh, and a lyrium deposit. Your glass Going. suggest that you don't care for my presence. I'm simply wondering how your kind can call yourselves nobles. It seems ironic. We like irony, and it rolls off the tongue better than oppressors. Ah, so you're a funny human. Not I. I wouldn't dare lighten your mood, milady. <sighs> eh. Huh. Alright. Oh, I was about to save myself, but game saved me the trouble. Ah, Harlock Dragon Tamer, eh? Yes. <laughs> Dragon Egg. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, I forgot to equip Ogren with some of this stuff. Okay, what did we get? Oh, whoops. I forgot to equip some of my special stuff. Or extra stuff. No, seriously, what did we get? I'm I'm not seeing it. Guess I'll just have to look into that in between episodes because we're actually running out of time. Still haven't found our extra stuff, like all our healing and my poisons. Is it just lost to us? Better not be. Oh, how funny, he named it the Leg Crusher. All right, nothing else in here. Let's see if we can't get out of here with the little time we got left in this episode. Probably not, but you never know. Hmm. Yeah, probably not, because there's a fight coming up. That'll probably eat up some time, so I'm going to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.